If you've purchased Logic 9 Tutorial DVD Level 1, you may have run into an issue where some of the videos aren't playing back. There is an easy solution to this. We've released an update that fixes this issue. Go up to the Help menu and select Check for Updates. Now hit Check Now. We can see that an update is available, so let's hit Get Update. Now we can decide where we'd like to save it. I'm going to select my desktop and hit save. Now it's going to start downloading. When it's done, we want to quit out of here and we want to go to our desktop to the file that we just downloaded. Now we have to unzip it. Just double click and there we go. There's two folders here, a Mac and a PC DVD update. We're on the Mac right now. So let's go to the Mac folder. If you're on the PC, use the PC folder. We're going to double click, agree to the terms. Then all we have to do is drag and drop and it's installed. On the Mac, it's put it in our Applications folder. On the PC, it's going to be in your Program Files folder. All right. Now we can launch the program. The easiest way to do it on the Mac is to go to Spotlight and just start typing in the name. There it is. This handy window will come up, letting us know what we need to do in order to download the new files that were required. So it says here, in this update, you'll need to download new audio files. Click the download button to the right and the logic 9 l one new audio fileszip will begin to download. It's about 280 megabytes. Once the zip file is downloaded, it will be displayed on your computer automatically. So let's download this. Let's once again go to our desktop. And then this is going to take some time. Almost done. And there we are. You can see that the folder that contains the new file we downloaded pops up automatically. I'm just going to close it because I put it to my desktop so it's easy. It's right here. And I'm going to unzip this file now. So this folder contains all of those new video slash audio files that we need so that our tutorial will play back correctly. Now, we need these files to be close to the application so we can see them. So this is what we're gonna do. First, let's get rid of, there's a whole bunch of junk on here that we don't need anymore. We don't need this zip file, get rid of it. We don't need this zip file, we can get rid of it. And we don't need this zip file anymore. And we can eject this. You don't actually have to do all this deleting. I'm just doing it to clear up the space a little bit and make it easier to follow the tutorial. So now all we're left with is the new videos we downloaded and then our original DVD. Now there's a couple of options here. Since we've downloaded this update, we actually don't need to use the DVD anymore if we don't want to. What we can do is we can copy the video files off our DVD into the same folder as the new files that we've downloaded and then not have to use our DVD at all. Of course, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can still put your DVD in and this, the new application that we downloaded will be able to find the videos, but I prefer to do it this way. So let me just show you how it's done. I'm going to just launch the DVD and I'm actually going to create a new folder on my desktop called videos. And I'm going to open the video folders here, make it a little easier to view. And I'm going to copy one to 20 and drag them over. I'm just shift clicking to select multiples. And then I'm also going to select 22 to 31. So we're also going to need those. The new videos that we downloaded were numbers 21 and 32 to 43. So we don't have to worry about copying those over. Once it's done, we can eject the disc. 
Now this next step is only for the people that decided, like me, that they wanted to copy their videos off of the tutorial DVD and onto their hard drive. So now you can see we have these two folders. We have this videos folder that has all of the videos except for these new ones that we downloaded. So let's merge them together. I'm just gonna select the first one, shift click the bottom one and drag them over. Close this and now I'm gonna delete that folder. So now we have a videos folder that contains all the videos we need, including the new ones that we downloaded. Now, in order for this to work properly, the application itself has to be right next to this videos folder. So I'm gonna go find it here. I'm gonna to go to applications and let's go down. Here it is, Logic Pro 9 tutorial level one. So I'm just gonna copy it onto my desktop. Now, in reality, I did things a little bit backwards here. Instead of dragging it to the applications folder, I should have just dragged it right to my desktop when we tried to install it. Or conversely, I could have dragged this videos folder into my applications folder beside the application. Or I could have put them both in a new folder and then put them anywhere I want, like my movies folder or my documents folder. I just wanted to give you an idea of the different options you have available to you so that every case was covered. Now let's try launching it and try some of the videos. They're working great. It worked like a charm. Just wanted to let you know that if you ever want to get to the instructions again, you can just go up to the help menu and you'll find the option here. Enjoy your Logic Tutorial DVD.